We were scrolling through like your Twitter feeds and stuff. And I was thinking about the fact that you're the artist and this is who people hope you are, by the way, I think, but you're the artist who drove up here in a U-Haul. The other day you posted like this, is the anniversary of the day that you piled all your stuff into a U-Haul, drove five to years. Nashville, five years now, mm-hmm. drove to Nashville and then like kind of tried and, and saw what happened. And then we all heard the story at the CMA Awards of how the year before you've been watching from across the street at a honky tonk. And then mm-hmm. now you're at the stage of your career where you're like, well, I'm a, last year I was at the Grammys winning a Grammy and this year I'm at, you know what I mean? Like, that's cool. But are, do you still feel like you're in touch with the scared part of life, the starving artist? Um, I mean, not starving as much anymore. I oh, remember- you get paid for your, sh- you get paid? I get paid oh, now. When I remember I the day I got my publishing deal, I had like $200 left in my checking account. Like I had saved so much money to move to Nashville. And then, yeah, by the what time was the I amount? got Because I think people out there think, I want to move to Nashville, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think over a year I saved um, like eight grand. I was a receptionist. Nice. So yeah, I I had like, you know, some float money to like not immediately have to get a job. So, but I was so diligent and so frugal. I would go to Kroger and buy like those 89 cent like shepherd's pies. Oh my God. Yeah, like, they're good actually. I was, those, little yeah. shep- <laughs> those little shepherds are tasty. You could, you could get like eight of them for the week. And I, I, I lived off that and like ramen. I mean, it was kind of And you found a roommate, artist. is this true? You found your roommate on Craigslist? Yeah, as a mother, as I yeah. was looking at that post and thinking of, you know, being your mother, I'd be like, how do you trust a Craigslist roommate? Yeah, it was, uh, she was very scared, but you know, she moved up there, like not moved up there with me, but helped me move. And so she got to meet them and you know, they were, they were great. Like roommates. Maren was a Craigslist roommate at that point too. Like the other side, they're probably, like, oh, yes. I know <laughs> this weirdo from Texas. Yeah. Um, no, I'm a very good roommate. I'm very clean, pick up after myself, get groceries. Um, and now I have a, a lifelong roommate with Ryan. So 